dancers are dancing, and you'll see Jenny today that she was holding her hands like this. And if you look real carefully, it looks like a deer or a stag's head with the head and the antlers. And the reason they hold their hands this way, it's said that many years ago, a grandfather was walking with his grandson through the glens, saw a stag walking up across the hill, and he challenged his grandson to be able to dance with the gracefulness of the stag. And so since that time, the girls have pulled their hands in that position for that tradition. And then you'll see Jenny dancing the sword dance today. And the history behind the sword dance is that the Highland dancers were originally men. And that is part of the, the custom of the military. And the night before going into battle, they would dance around the campfire. And they would put those swords on the ground and do the sword dance around the swords. And it was said if they touched the sword, that they would lose the next day. So the whole idea was to not touch the sword be able to finish the dance and then be victorious on the next day. <laughs> 